Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. This one, a four by three minute round, about 75 kilo catch weight limit. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in 75 kilos neat at our weigh in yesterday from the Black Dragon Gym tonight. He makes his professional debut. Give it up, this is Sean Olsen. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He weighed in officially 74.8 kilos. Trained out of the integrated MMA gym tonight. He makes his professional debut. Give it up, this is Tim Shoot. Yes, we've got Sean Olsen in the blue corner here, folks. He'll be in the black trunks and he'll be representing a black track and up against Tim Schultz in the red corner out of integrated MMA in the black and grey shorts. Both on their debut professionally here, Drew Forbes alongside Chris McCormack. And, uh, sorry, McCullum, I should say. Chris McCormack McCullum. sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> McCullum. And, uh, well, Olsen versus Schultz, four three-minute rounds. And uh, these are the pro fights, Chris. We're getting down to business right here. Yeah, it just looks like it's got entertainment written all over it, this one. Chris McCullen in the commentary box, and we're underway here. Schultz versus Olsen. Very both fast boys. tempo to get us going. Yeah, very fast tempo. Both boys very rigid. A lot of moving around. You can tell they're, uh, they're on debut. But both look like they've got decent power, both in great shape. Oh, there's a beautiful little right uppercut from Olsen. Four Elements Promotions, Boxing Bazaar. This, our first pro fight of the evening. Olsen up against Schultz. Yeah, Schultz, just nice little right... Uh right hand body left hook head earlier on oh and there's a nice right hand he needs a little bit more more of that both guys very very rigid a little bit stiff that usually brings in fatigue which usually brings in entertainment so let's wait till we get to round three and four both guys in great shape though Who started the stronger here, Chris, in your opinion? Well, I thought Olsen started the better, but now Schultz just having his moments and just starting to get a few shots back on Olsen. But pretty even at this stage, both guys had their moments. Still, well, just through halfway through round number one. Nice little counter punches there from Olsen. He likes to switch it up, Schultz, in the black and grey trunks. You'll notice he likes to switch up his stance throughout. Oh, no. oh. Big was left it? coming in by Schultz there, but Olsen, he responded fairly quickly. Yeah, he did, yeah, because it was a good little combination from, from Schultz, but the right-hand counter was, was the, the maker there. And that's what you've got to be careful of. You can see the way Schultz just coming in from a long distance out, and he rushes in quite quick, but that'll double the power as he's going in, and sometimes that can result in a knockout so he's got to be careful with that chris mccullen of course trainer out of logan boxing team these days he's a father to four daughters the former light and welterweight former two-time australian champion he won 12 of his 14 bouts ladies and gentlemen chris mccullen out of the logan boxing team and co-commentator here tonight they love him they love him at four elements promotions and he's here with us is chris mack good guys uh Skinny Steve Lanko and uh, Paul Demacoli, Nugget the Snort. Good to see you. Uh, and it's great, great well, to bring you back to the Well, they told me to give you a wrap, field. Chris. They told me we've got to give Chris <laughs> McMullen a wrap. That's the way he likes it. Uh. Final seconds here in the first. Evenly contested first. Good. Chris, how'd you see it? Yeah, very even the first round. Both had their moments. Um, yeah, I'll hover around there. I don't really think anyone really demanded or took control of that round there's the right hand from Schultz and Olsen had his moments and see that right hand there it is there that was the best punch of the round boy oh, just rushed in you see him rush in from out there and there's that switch stance you were talking about but it got him it caught him out that time Schultz
Shout out to our sponsors once again. As we see Olsen in his corner. Thanks to King's Footlong, Concrete Genie, Concrete Scanning, Punish Fight Gear, Gumdow Demolition, and Chris McMullen's second home, Supplement Mart. The supplement Mart, that's it. Good spot, get down there. Red Corner Promotions back in the day was the spot here to put on all the good shows. Run by Brian Kerwin. Put skinny Steve Vujanko on a fair bit as well. Red Corner Promotions, Alex Leopold. Yeah, they've been around for a while, Red Corner now, of course, in the production sides of things. If you if you happen to be listening, Brian Kerwin, shout out to you. He'll be listening. He's always listening. Always up to no good. As we see a bit more good here in the in the ring. Yes, Adrian Peng, very uh, experienced MMA trainer, fighter. Been around for a long time in the fight game. Does usually work the corner with uh, Isaac Hardman. Olsen moving in aggressively here. Just settle them down a little bit now, both guys. A little bit energetic, a uh, little bit too energetic in the first round. Nerves take over a little bit, but you can see now they're starting to settle down. This should really warm into a good fight. Good jab from Schultz. Oh, a nice little counter hook there. Again, the same shot that caught Schultz in the first round from Olsen. Tricky shot to throw as well, so he does a good job with that. As he walks forward, shows. In that first round, it was Schultz jumping forward, and there we saw Olsen do it. It's not a good way to go. You'll get caught out, and it'll hurt even more. Little uppercut on the break from Olsen. It's about four three-minute rounds, so we're halfway through the second here. Both these fighters, as we mentioned, their professional debut in the boxing ring this evening. Who will get off to a flying start in their professional careers? Will it be Schultz or will it be Olsen? Schultz has showed a really good jab there earlier on. And there's another one there. I think he should use that more, a bit of razzle-dazzle. But uh, he's actually got a really good jab on him. He's looking for the power. That'll follow up. That right end of work he uses that jab a bit more. There's the jab again. And the counter right hook again from Olsen. Tricky shot, but he does well with it. A little left jab there from Schultz getting through. 30 seconds remaining here in the second at the Mansfield Tavern in Brisbane's inner southeast. 4EP putting on the night here. Boxing Bazaar. What a night it has been with plenty more still to come tonight. Good respect there from both fighters. Good jab again from Schultz. He lands the right hand as Olsen looks for that counter right hook. That concludes the second. Yeah, another very evenly uh, contested round. Hard to pick. Uh, I hate to be a judge in this one. Chris McCullough now the Logan boxing team. As he talks us through the second round highlights there, and there's not a lot splitting these two at the moment, is there? No, nah, definitely not. Both uh, guys, both guys in tremendous shape, which is a good thing. That counter right hook that uh, Olsen does, uh, you don't see that too often, but it's very effective. And there's that jab. I'd like to see both guys probably just settle down and use that jab. They've actually both got good jabs, and they'll set those power shots up. I do like when Schultz goes to the body and then comes upstairs. There is Schultz on screen there in the hands of the capable trainers and his team there at uh, being represented by Integrated MMA, of course. Yeah. Round number three underway. Here we go. Two more three-minute rounds for both these fighters to impose their will. Well, there's a nice little right hook from Olsen. He, uh, sorry, from uh, 
Schultz and a good jab from Olsen. Gets a bit of acknowledgement from Schultz. Usually means you've been hit. Oh, nice right hand from Schultz. Just like to see both guys put their punches together in combinations a bit more. A lot of it's just that single stuff, but oh, there's some combinations from, from Schultz. He unleashes, but here comes now Olsen. Well, Chris, surely that's what you're asking for. Yeah, that's what we need. That's what the, we just saw the entertainment of Alex Leopold Jr. We want that here. We're starting to see some more combinations come in, but in that fatigue is coming, like I said earlier, hands are dropping. We will see more shots land. There's that to the body and head from Schultz. Oh, they're wild at times. Good jab from uh, Schultz. Got a bit of Clara coming out. He just gives a wave of that right hand just a little bit to say, look at this. And here comes a jab. But there's a right hand from Olsen. Good jab from Schultz. <laughs> referee John Watson hasn't had much to do in, uh, in this fight. He's a very experienced referee. Been around for a... A long time, both amateurs and pros. Less than a minute remaining here in the third. Boxing Bazaar night here at the Mansfield Tavern. Put on by 4EP, 4 Elements Promotions. Oh, good body shot. like to see real basic combinations. Double jab right, I think that for both guys will get home a lot easier. Even that, just the one-two. Just keep it basic, go behind that jab. Final seconds here. Big swing there and missed by Olsen as that does us for the third round. And Salston sucking in the big ones on screen there. Receiving instructions from his team, Olsen from Black Dragon. Should we have a look at the round three highlights? It was another round very similar to rounds one and two. Uh, very evenly uh, matched. Good body shot there from Schultz. And we'd be good to see a little bit more of that. Because both guys are in great condition. Got good fitness behind them. Tricky little shot there, just oversteps, changes into a southpaw stance for a bit to Zolson as he throws that right hand over top. Olsen and the Black Dragon camp there, taking on the team from Integrated MMA in this one. Final round. Of course, both these boxers on debut professionally here tonight. This is the final three-minute round to be fought out. Who will come out on top? Three minutes to put their cases forwards. Here we go. Olsen, a couple of left jabs to get us going here in the fourth. Big right attempted there from Schultz. Got a lot of power on it. Ooh, nice counter right hand there from Schultz, and Olsen tries the same. Big right there from Schultz. <laughs> so back underway here. He is a picture of health, Chris McMullen. There is no question. Ah. So two minutes remaining in this one. Oh, good body shot there from uh, Schultz. Both guys are uh, more than likely debuts here tonight, but more than likely uh, Thai Box and MMA behind them, looking at their gyms respectively and the way they handle themselves. Very experienced, you can see. 
they're probably a little above the debutant stage, um, but debut in boxing, so. And they'll learn a lot from this fight. Uh, very evenly matched, but very similar in styles as well. Both go into that orthodox southpaw stance at times when they're, they're looking at counter shots. Both make similar mistakes with the defense. Both in great condition, very, very similar. So I think they'll learn a lot from this fight as well. Yeah, good both, additions. Both men in great shape. Yeah, good additions to the pro game. And boxing, I should say. Well, as we enter the final minute, Chris, who have you got ahead? Oh, can we ask the judges? I don't know. Uh, maybe just um, Schultz in the red corner, but it's, it's very, very even. These are the type of fights I wouldn't be surprised if we see a drawing. But we still got another round, so anything can happen. Oh, is this our uh, fourth and final round? Sorry, so it's up for grabs. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we see this one fairly even. Final ten seconds approaching. Ooh, nice little right hand over the top there from Olsen. Sorry, from uh, Schultz. As Olsen's on the attack, counter left hook from Olsen. Oh, nice combination from Schultz. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. Good finish. Tremendous finish. Schultz with his hands in the air. We will go to the judges. I'm with you, Chris McMullen. I think Schultz might have just done enough, but time will tell. Yep, not too far away. The judges will hand in their uh, scorecards and we'll get a look at it. But as we have a look at the action from the fourth and final round, again, as through rounds one to four, uh, both guys having their moments. Just love that they've come in great condition. They've put in a great effort. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for both fighters. First of all, what a great contest. We've seen here. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Tony Kettlewell scored the bout 39 37 to Olsen. Judge Alan Burfin scored the bout 39 37 to Schultz. Judge Roy Saunders scores the bout 39 37 to your winner by split decision, and it goes to the red corner team. Shoot! Congratulations, Timothy Schultz. Did enough for the victory. And what a performance. He wins on debut here tonight as part of the Boxing Bazaar Fight Night. Yeah, I think that was a fair decision. Split decision really um, showed what style of fight it was. Very close, back and forth. Really hard to judge those fights. And uh, that's what I said. I thought it'd be a split decision or something around that, not a, not a unanimous. So well done to uh, Timothy Schultz.